it is a terribly dreary day today y'all like this wind is coming in like don't blow me away because it's coming in and it's like i just got all this stuff cleared from the end of the whole tropical storm thing and now here we are again the coastal flood warning and things plenty of tree branches fell put in the fireplace a little good old you know water flooding here just a little bit happy 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 tuesday and happy week eight it is week eight week eight of the semester which means i am officially halfway through this semester week eight of 16 so let's give a hand clap for that please okay we are surviving it is about to be a crazy week um I have a final this week because my rhythm analysis class was only eight weeks and that is my EKG class. If you're not sure or you haven't been following and let me just back up because I probably should start all of these videos the same. So for those of you who are normally subscribed to me, just blank this part out, okay? Um, but I am a first year, first semester cardiovascular sonography student and I am here vlogging the experience. My first semester is hybrid. So this particular semester, I only go into the building on Fridays. The rest of the week, I am here doing all my work, being a student, because online, there's a whole lot of work to do, even when you have a hybrid schedule. Uh, and so during the week, I take you along. I tell you about my assignment. So if you are a student, you understand the magnitude of how much work you may or may not have to do. Um, and then on Fridays, I take you with me sometimes and we chat. Uh, so anyway. I have a final for rhythm analysis and so that's a pretty big deal um i also am starting my additional two classes so for those of you who may not watch may not have watched one of the more recent videos i mentioned that i am trying to graduate at the same time with two degrees from two different schools <laughs> And so I am here and I'm studying my cardiovascular sonography and then I'm also finishing my degree in science at my school that I was going to prior. And the reason being is because when I finish all the prerequisites and things, I only needed five more credits to officially graduate that program. And so I want to finish it out. And because it's only five, I figure I can do one class each semester up until that time and my particular a sonography program does not have any classes in the summer and so I figured that would also give me the opportunity anyway I decided to uh, do two this semester and they start this week they started yesterday so although I'm ending one class I'm starting two new classes so it's it's about to be a challenge but let's talk about how I'm going to be I'm doing things and organizing myself for the remaining half of this semester. This is my favorite pumpkin spice creamer. I know there are different ones out there, but this one, this one right here, this Coffee Mate is my jam every single year. Uh, I am still working on finishing my teas from this advent calendar, which I think we might have talked about. Um, but this, oh, let me tell you, I love it. It's so good. And I found that just drinking it with the Lipton tea, it's really good. Because I have a million billion different like flavored teas, but they those don't always go with things things like this. So I just like a regular plain tea. So what you've seen me done from the very beginning of this is every single week I sit down on a Monday and I write down everything that I need to do for that week. And on a separate piece of paper, and this is a tight piece of paper, I'm gonna use a post-it. You're gonna notice this post-it at the top, and it's because on this particular type piece of paper at the top in the corner i have the name of the course but not only do i have the name of the course i also have like my professor's name their email address their phone number that type of thing so that is why i'm covering it over um but also you saw that i created this paper and this paper has all of the major assignments like major graded assignments uh for this particular semester um but it's done in months so this was all August and September, and I am now officially finished with August and September. So I needed to create a new one. So the change is that I am no longer writing everything down on this piece of paper. Um, one, because it's gonna take way more than this sheet to fill in, especially after I saw one of my most recent new classes. Um, and two, because of the amount of time, because of the amount of work that I have now, I just don't have the time to sit and do that. Um, 
my two additional classes are eight week courses, but they weren't originally eight week courses. So when you take a 16 week course in eight weeks, it's super accelerated. And we'll show you what that means. Um, but anyway, yesterday on Monday, I sat down and I created more and anyway that was a lot of talking so let's take a break a break from all the school chitter chatter stuff because i like to kind of bring you into my life uh yesterday i ended up hanging out with one of my good friends love her lauren um and we ended up going out to lunch and going to a few stores and it was a good time uh, but there's a cool store near where i live that does this thing and i never um saw that this was possible until i was watching youtube and um, one day on my youtube suggestions there was a girl I did a video that said something like, I spent $3,000 on Amazon returns. I was like, what is that? And so I watched the video and she was at her house and she was opening up these big boxes of Amazon returns that she was trying to see if she was going to make enough money back from the boxes that she ordered. Because when she ordered these huge boxes of Amazon returns, she didn't know what was in them. Anyway, get to the point. Point is, there is a store near my house who seems to have modeled their entire business on that. So they purchased these Amazon returns, right? And then they have a whole bunch of bins and I'm going to pop in a clip so you see, have a whole bunch of bins and they just dump all those things into the bins. And depending on the day of the week, depends on how much the items cost. So if you come on the day um, when they first get the truck, then they're like $7 an item. If you come um, like the following two days, it's like $4 and then it goes to $3 and then it goes to $2 and then they close to refresh and, you know, things like that. Um, and so that is really cool. And I never had a chance to really go in and like shop it. Uh, but yesterday we went and it was like the $4 day and they had all the items for $4. So I kind of want to show you um, what I ended up getting. We'll do a little mini haul and then I'm hungry. So, I need so I'm at this little store that I'll explain later when I get home. But that's what I'm currently doing now. All right, so here are my $4 steals from that thing. And when I tell you it takes a while, it takes a while for you to go through because there's so many bins with so many things. Um, and we're hoping to go back, one, on the first day when everything's $7 just to see what it's like. Like uh, they posted pictures to their Instagram and was saying like, you know, um, so people got iPads and laptops and things like that. And they show pictures of them on that actual day. Like they take the pictures of the people. Um, but anyway, things I got. So I ended up getting one, this is a puzzle, which I thought was really cute. No clue how much this puzzle costs, which I probably will look up and let you know what the original price is. If you don't get your butt off of this thing, sorry, I have cats. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, this one, I happen to really enjoy puzzles. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, I have to have it. I like this picture made me happy. And so I said, I'm going to get it for four dollars. And puzzles aren't really all that expensive in general, um, but I saw the picture needed to have it, so I got it for $4, and I'll look it up and let you know what the original price was. I also ended up finding these. There were more than one set of these, and I probably should have picked them up, but I didn't. And these are um, chapstick containers. And if you know that I have a Bath & Body product business, I do have a Bath & Body product business, and um, this is something that I have thought of, and it's something that I may test out next year. And so I thought, you know what? Let me get these, and there's 50 of them in there for for four and then one of my hobbies that i really love um is diamond art and so i ended up getting this particular diamond art project let me see if i can show you what the picture looks like so the picture is supposed to look like this and so it has a whole bunch of like little beads in there it's kind of like a count by numbers thing i will try to include a picture of one that i'm currently working on so that you understand what this looks like i'm not going to open it because i'm not working on it yet. but the biggest thing because i'm currently working on doing a little halloween thing oh and those two things are not, not coming there all right was i found this mondo size pack of halloween directions and you know directions decorations when you buy these things online they're kind of pricey so it ends up, I looked at it yesterday, it has balloons in there, it has banners, it has the helium looking balloons, it has tablecloths, it has window cleanings, it has a little thing to take um, party pictures with, like it has a door fringe in black and in orange, all the things, it has, uh, what is this, 
of the stuff that you make little spider webs with. It has spiders to put on there. So your whole entire party is in this little bag. And so I'm doing a little um, themed party around the new Hocus Pocus movie. And uh, so I was very excited to find this because I had been collecting little things for this party. Like, for example, the two things I pulled out, I had bought from Walmart. And at the time, you think, oh, super cheap, 98 cents for this little danger tape that I can put down. And 98 cents for this Happy Halloween banner. But when I buy these two for $2, and then I go to the Amazon store thing, and I can get all of this for four, it's a steal. I just went to the mail and Amazon is trying to get everybody's money. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually seen them do this. I don't recall in previous years Amazon coming out with their own with their like own holiday gift thing for kids, but they sure have and they sure mailed it on over to me. I actually ordered a book for my niece and I ordered quite a few kids things. Um, although I don't have any kids. <laughs> Speaking of that, I gotta show you the little uh, care package thing I'm sending her as well. All right, we're back with lunch. This is a sandwich on potato bread. It is honey roasted turkey and uh, provolone. And I made a mistake in provolone when I meant to buy monster cheese. And I'm gonna have it alongside some jalapeno potato chips. My favorite kind of chip of all time is a Halloween, a Halloween, a jalapeno potato chip. Um, I discovered these, I wanna say at some point last year, I think around Christmas time, I really liked them. I really enjoy the kettle cooked ones, uh, but they didn't have them when I ordered them. So I got this as a substitute, but love these. Oh, it's by Lay's by the way. It's by Lay's. These are also kettle cooked, but the other brand, I can't remember what the name of the other brand is. Whatever the name of the other brand is, I'll post it down below. Um, really love their jalapeno chips. Second to them would be these Lay's kettle cooked jalapeno chips that are amazing. So I ate my lunch, watched a whole tune, um, and time to start work. So the goal of the day, what is the goal of the day? Also to mention that I'm supposed to be going on a camping trip, that I actually will be going on a camping trip this weekend. And so I'm trying to get a lot of this done. And so if there's anything that I have to have anything left over for, I'll end up being able to do it like Sunday evening, but I really don't want to have to do much Sunday evening, which means I have today tomorrow and thursday and a little bit of friday because i go into class on friday to try to get all of this done and friday doesn't really count because after class on friday they need to get back so i can finish my final before i leave to go camping but anyway so the goal of today is to watch the lecture and the videos related to my cardiovascular anatomy and um, physiology class because i have to write an essay on the autonomic control of cardiovascular reflexes this week so i want to watch the lecture so that i can make sure that i can get that done i want to watch the lecture today also for my beginning ultrasound physics and instrumentation class as well as do the class today i like to watch those videos do all the like practice stuff with it and also do the uh quiz for it so i'm gonna do that as for my new classes thank goodness that one of the classes the religions of the world i don't have any assignments to hand in other than like a little uh, introduction which isn't hard uh and just some reading but for this one where i have one two three four five six seven things to do my goal is to get some of the reading done today because it's four chapters um to hopefully do the reading for the reconstruction so i can do the reconstruction fill-in job and to start the PowerPoint on the captains of industry. That that would be it. And then I'll probably take a break. And then I'll come back in the evening time and try to do the Nearpod, although I've never um, worked with Nearpod before, so I'm not 100% sure on what exactly that is. I think it's kind of like another version of a quiz. Um, and so that's the that is the goal for today i think the thing that i'm going to leave for sunday is the reading for my other class so having to read chapter one for the introduction for that one religions of the world class i'm gonna leave that for sunday because i already have a whole ton of reading to do for this um and so then outside of that once i finish all of that uh wednesday thursday I have some quizzes that I'm going to need to do. I'm going to need to finish this essay, all the things. So it's a pretty busy week. Um, so I'm going to do the lecture uh, for ultrasound is on Doppler principles. And so that should be interesting. I actually really love my ultrasound lectures. 
And the lecture for cardio A and P is gonna be on the autonomic control of cardiovascular reflexes. So let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. Although, you know, I really should do my intros. Let's add that to the list. Intros <laughs> for the two new classes that I started this week because that takes no time for me to write a little, a little bit about me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy, happy Friday. It's Friday. I have a final today. I'm on my way to my credit A&P class, followed by my ultrasound class. I am early. I am not looking forward to this rhythm analysis final. Because that's what's going on in my life. That is what's going on in my life. And again, even on week eight, I still don't ever really know where I'm going. I'm still trying to get used to where things are. That good old breakfast. Party mix and what is this? Uh, okay. Back to the heart. The first one we have is the vagus nerve. So here, this is the ether and vagus nerve, but this is the one when everybody talks about so I bagel down. Bageling means your blood pressure went low and your heart rate went low. Um, for, you know, whatever. Have you ever heard about somebody like, if you stand too long and your knees are locked? Mm -hmm. And you're, this yeah. happened to me when I was in CBT school. When I worked, you did see the cardiac OR. A room I haven't seen. Random inventory. Interesting, another lab with little fake people in them. Mainly parts, arms. Interesting, I always like when I discover new places as I'm going through here. I thought this was cool. They sent an email earlier this week about people helping to uh, color in this little sign, which I thought was nice. Just to see how it comes along, I probably will full swim in on my break after I go to the bathroom. Calculate velocity. It tells us how fast these red blood cells are moving. It also tells us what direction the red blood cells are moving in. And that's really important for us. Right, so we use Doppler shift information to tell us about velocity 